Do you want to add new imaging methods to your AFM to extract more information from your sample and explore new phenomena? In this video, we will show you how easy it is to connect a Zurich Instruments Lekin amplifier to your AFM and open up a variety of new possibilities. Welcome to Zurich Instruments channel. I am Kvanch. First, I will walk you through the setup followed by introducing the toolset to conclude an overview of the enabled imaging methods. We use this Nanosurflex AFM here, but the process is very similar for most AFMs. For this, we need the so-called signal access module or a breakout box. Such interface is available with most systems and it provides access to the AFM input and output channels. Let's start with connecting the different signals to the Zurich Instruments MFLI Lakin amplifier. First, we connect the deflection signal to the MFLI input. It's the most crucial signal since it carries the dynamic motion of the cantilever and therefore the critical information we want to capture. The MFLI's output can drive the cantilever's mechanical mode via dither or shaker piezo. Alternatively, we connect it to either the tip or the sample's bias voltage input to excite electrical modes with an AC plus DC signal. If the mechanical drive is handled by the FM autonomously, we can fit its reference to the lock-in to capture the signal at the right frequency. To record the required data, we have two alternatives. Either we route the measured signals via the analog auxiliary outputs of the MFLI to the AFM's auxiliary input and record them additionally during a scan, or we use the line trigger of the AFM scan engine to synchronize the data acquisition on the lock-in amplifier. The latter records any internal signals on the MFLI simultaneously. Once all channels are connected, we set up the lock-in amplifier to enable different imaging methods. Suppose we break it down to the basic scheme. We need to control and monitor a specific parameter during a scan over the sample. For example, the DC bias voltage for KPFM or the amplitude of different sidebands for DFRT. Therefore, the workflow always consists of three steps. Analyze the signal of interest, set up the feedback and control the right channel, monitor and record the relevant signals. The Lavan software, which comes with our instruments, provides the toolset to support us in all three steps. So, let's have a look at them. First, we get an overview of the AFM's eigenmodes and superior signals using the scope with FFT mode. Then we can characterize the mode of interest in more detail with the sweeper and extract its amplitude, phase, line width or quality factor. The same tool can help to characterize the transfer function at the tip surface contact. The results from this analysis are the starting point to implement the feedback loop. We choose up to four PIDs, PLLs, to control the relevant parameters. For example, the DC wise voltage to implement KPFM or the amplitude difference at the sidebands for DFRT. Plotting the PID error gives us immediate feedback on the quality of the control loop. The last and maybe most important step is capturing the measurement results. We use a data acquisition module for this with the line trigger of the AFM to align the data as we see in the side-by-side -side comparison of the NanoSurf and Lab1 software. As a result, we have an entire stack of perfectly aligned images, each carrying unique information about the sample, all recorded simultaneously in one run. To summarize, we looked at connecting a Zurich Instruments Lekin amplifier to an AFM and went through the workflow of analyzing the signal, implementing the feedback and recording the data. Naturally, this is only a glimpse of what a Zurich Instruments Lekin amplifier can add to the field of scanning probe microscopy. The functionality combined with the intuitive toolset depicted in the middle of the graph will enable you to implement various SPM imaging modes such as bimodal and multi-frequency AFM, advanced KPFM and DFRT, time resolutive enhanced SPM, to name only a few. So, what do you want to try next? Or do you have a completely new idea? Get in touch and let us know. We will be happy to support you to make it happen. Thank you for watching.